49ers general manager John Lynch speaks. That's what we're getting into on today's San Francisco 49ers report because we have a lot of Brandon Ayuk updates to get to in the lead up to the 2024 NFL draft as John Lynch, of course, was asked about that. First, speaking of the draft, we're going to be live Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all three days of the NFL draft. Every single round, every single pick with some deep dive analysis, scouting profiles, thoughts and opinions on all of the draftees for San Francisco. Don't forget to subscribe and prior to Thursday, can we get to 132,000 subscribers? Send it, subscribe today. And with that, let's get to the IUK updates right now. With the NFL draft coming up on Thursday, 49ers general manager John Lynch held his pre-draft press conference today to talk about the Niners scouting department, giving some shout outs to some of the members of this organization who have been of help to John Lynch and this entire organization in the pre-draft scouting process. But of course, he was asked about one of the biggest storylines across the entire NFL, and that is the Brandon IU contract situation. And we have a couple of updates to get to that I think are major developments here. Anytime that a general manager for a football team is asked about a player who's been rumored to be in trade discussions, who's up for a contract extension, that is all notable news. As for the communication element of these contractual negotiations between the Niners, John Lynch, Ayuk, his agent, his camp, and we've certainly heard a lot from Brandon Ayuk's agent on social media, Lynch has said that he's communicated with Ayuk on, quote, many occasions this offseason, and he's communicated with the Niners' number one wide receiver about the Niners' wish. And the Niners' wish... The Niners hope, and this is coming from John Lynch, is that Ayuk stays with San Francisco not just for the next five years, but the rest of his career. As for the actual contractual talks, Lynch added that the Niners and Ayuk are having good conversations, and they have throughout this offseason. Ayuk has not been at the facility, though, as a lot of the other players did report for some of these voluntary workouts last week in Santa Clara at the SAP Performance Center. But as Kyle Shanahan said in the aftermath of the season, John Lynch noted it as well, Ayuk was at the facility doing some off-season workouts at this point probably about a month, month and a half ago. This is of note. It's not surprising because Ayuk is such a special and dynamic player, but Lynch did say that teams have been calling and inquiring about a Brandon Ayuk trade, and the Niners have received those calls, but the Niners receive calls on a lot of players across their entire roster, and that's something that happens every single offseason for all 32 clubs across the NFL. This is also interesting here. General Manager John Lynch asked, has Brandon Ayuk requested a trade? And he was asked that question by Matt Mayoko, NBC Sports Bay Area. And Mayoko, John Lynch, they're very tight. But before Mayoko could completely finish asking that question, John Lynch just shut it down. He declined to say if Ayuk has requested a trade this offseason. But then added, quote, we're focused on Ayuk being a part of us. He is under contract. Why I think this is of note here and why it's going to grab some headlines from bloggers and YouTubers and other people who cover the Niners, why not just say Brandon Ayuk has not requested a trade? John Lynch did not say that. And he did kind of shut down these narratives about a Nick Bosa, who we'll talk about more coming up. But John Lynch had an opportunity here to say, Ayuk has not requested a trade. Instead, he leaves the door open for some rumors and some speculation that maybe Ayuk has requested a trade. John Lynch has the right also to be proud of the track record that him and this front office have had and him and Kyle Shanahan have had since they take over this organization back in 2017. And that track record is getting deals done with homegrown players. And when people have asked me about my prediction as far as what happens with Ayuk, that's why I've continued to say this. I think they strike a deal, 
And at this point, I do think there's more pressure as compared to previous years to get a deal done prior to late July, August, or September. And I think a deal does happen maybe a little bit later on. But definitely before some of the previous homegrown All-Stars have gotten the bag from San Francisco. But the track record is there. And the Niners have paid. They have invested in their homegrown players. Why have they done that? Because they're success stories. And those players are pillars of the organization. Brandon Ayuk has emerged into being just that. Now coming up next, why hasn't a deal gotten done? And why a trade could still happen? Stay tuned for that. First, today's 49ers report instant reaction to the John Lynch press conference is sponsored by Game Time. See the view from your seat before you buy, so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. All in prices show your total up front, so you know you're getting a great deal without hidden fees. You can buy tickets in seconds with only two taps on your phone. And Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event or even an after after or even an hour, excuse me, after it starts. It's the place to find last-minute seats, find exclusive deals, flash deals, and sponsor deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball. But it's not just sports, ladies and gentlemen. I love music. I love going to concerts. I've used the Game Time app for that. I'm a big fan of comedy, and it shouldn't have any limitations, right? Game Time doesn't have any limitations. You can go to comedy shows, theater, and more, with zone deals, you pick the section and Game Time picks the seats for an average of 18% savings. And the Game Time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. And if you find tickets in the same section and row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Use the code Chat Sports. When you do that, you get $20 off. You can go to a San Francisco Giants game, a Niners game in the fall. Cannot wait for the 2024 regular season. And if you do, make sure you do it with game time. Lock them in. Chat Sports, $20 off. Now, why hasn't a deal gotten done between Ayuk and the Niners? You saw Devontae Smith sign that contract extension with the Philadelphia Eagles, and that pays him $25 million per year. And I think Ayuk is the better player organizations operate a little bit differently from time to time. The Eagles like to hand out contract extensions a little bit earlier. Other teams do as well. Some teams like to wait a little bit. There's that aforementioned pressure on the Niners to maybe get a deal done before other extensions have gotten done with some of the homegrown Niners players because the price tag could go up with a Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, extension which only drives the price tag up for Brandon Ayuk but also you just don't want this drama to linger all that long you want to be able to have Brock Purdy's number one wide receiver on the field day one of training camp but when you look at when these contract extensions have gone down as far as pen to paper in the last four consecutive off seasons George Kittle it happened in August August 13th 2020 Fred Warner was in July on the 21st of 2021. Debo Samuel a little bit later, the final day of July on the 31st. And then Nick Bosa, this was rare. It was out of the ordinary because it's not like you're handing over $34 million per year to players often. And he became, in turn, the highest paid non-quarterback in the history of football when he signed that extension on September 6th of 2023, last fall right in the lead-up to the regular season against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, this is interesting, too, because Lynch did say that he would like to get a deal done sooner with Brandon Ayuk compared to the past. Another question here. Will Ayuk be on the roster on Friday, Mr. General Manager? He wouldn't anticipate Ayuk not being on the Niners roster after the first round. Now, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, I wanted to bring back up the whole Nick Bosa conversation. With Debo Samuel, there was some drama. And sometimes the door wasn't necessarily shut on a potential trade or a deal not getting done. The Niners have been consistent for over a year now that they want Ike to be a part of this organization. They see his value. And then especially when he goes out and has an all-pro caliber season, they further see his value when he's giving their young quarterback stellar play. 
but he didn't necessarily shut down Ayuk not being on the team. What that would mean is that Ayuk gets dealt night one, first round, Thursday of the 2024 NFL Draft. With Nick Bosa, Lynch definitively, convincingly shut down those trade talks. He did not do that with Brandon Ayuk. So the door, again, somewhat ajar that maybe Ayuk could get dealt because, look, the Niners had, they said today, Lynch did, 23 or 24 players who they have first-round grades on. You know, John Lynch could say, well, I didn't expect that X player was going to be available when we picked or we wanted to trade away Ayuk for really good compensation. Pittsburgh Steelers at number 20, we've talked about. Jacksonville Jaguars at 17. The Denver Broncos at 12. They could say, well, we didn't expect the player that we really covet, that we really love, was going to be available there in the first round for San Francisco. So keep that in mind if a deal does happen. My read on this has been consistent, and I haven't really moved off that stance, especially when I hear John Lynch talk. I look at the words that he used the body language that he had at that press conference. I just would be shocked if Ayuk is dealt, if a deal doesn't get done, because I think words and track record, it means something. For anybody out there who's been with the same company or in the same industry for years, and all you continue to do is produce, that track record means something, right? And Ayuk has produced, he's gotten better, he means so much to this team, they've taken care of their homegrown players. So they know the value. They've taken care of their draftees because they know how vital they are to their football operation. And I think at the end of the day, a deal does get done. So what will happen with Ayuk? This is the big question here. T for traded, 49 for he's going to be on the 49ers. Join the conversation down in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe as always. Thank you so much for supporting the show. And give me a real one if you're still watching.